Good, 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 good morning. Oh, it is not a dreadful Monday morning this time. For all you Falcons fans that were talking shit on the Giants video, tro- I mean trolling that far back, really, and then just talking shit on the Falcons video. How you like me now? Yeah, we tossed y'all. You, you, I mean, yeah. Now, I did say Julio was going to do his damage, and he did, because there's just no stopping Julio Jones, but we won! Y'all only scored 15 points, and got one touchdown because Leotis McKelvin got burnt, and he shouldn't even been on the field, but I mean, he got the pick after three times. I mean, goddamn, dude, Really? The third, I'll take the third time to, get to, to win the game, but damn. How are you going to drop that many picks when you had, like, how many last year before you got hurt? Like, anyway, we won. I hope Nolan Carroll can come back next week because we play Seattle, and um, they just beat the Patriots, which was, wow, yeah. But anyway... Uh, it, it just feels so, so good not to have to, oh, yeah, well, listen, yes, we won, but I can only lament the fact that the Cowgirls won too, Steelers, come on, help us out, what are y'all doing, I mean, you got one job, beat everybody else in the NFC East, that, that's it. I don't care if you lose every other game, but beat everybody else in the division. You couldn't even do that. I'm like, I'm disappointed. How, how do you just let them drive down the field in that little bit of time? I, like, you're just making them look so much better than they are. I can't believe this. Like, I just, I can't wait to play them last week. I just, I just can't. I just can't. But back to the Falcons. I'm sorry. I'm already moved on to the next game. Uh, I already I celebrate the wins on Sunday and the losses, and uh, I move on to the next game next day. Cause uh, you know this, that's just how it is. Shoot, we only five and four. I mean, it's not like I mean we beat the number one offense in the league. Granted, their defense is trash, but the number one offense in the league, they've gone into some uh, onto some road games and they beat some really good teams. So it's like. If the Eagles can just put it all together, like, we've been in every single game we've lost. Like, we should not, we should be undefeated, right? Like, if we really want to talk, we should be undefeated because our team just didn't pull it out at the end of the games, like, when when they really need to. Besides that Redskins game, which was just completely lopsided, we still only lost by a touchdown. So, it's like, this team could be really, really good. Um... I'm a little disappointed that Treggs wasn't on the field. Like, other than that fake run, that, that I mean, that fake jet sweep thing. Like, I don't, what, how are you not going to play him? I know the run game was, it was great. Like, Ryan Matthews is back. Uh, Smallwood, I'm, I, I said he was going to get 100 yards, but he got 70. I mean, he's getting close. He's getting closer and closer. And uh, I feel like one of these games, he could really pull 100 if they just keep feeding the ball. So, Ryan Matthews, like I said, he's back. They dusted him off, got him out of the back room. Um, two touchdowns, 100 yards. We haven't had that since Shady, my favorite Eagles offensive player besides, uh, you know, b Doc. But, uh, yeah, that, that was good. I was just hoping Jordan Matthews, he had a great first half. And then, like, the second half, I, I didn't even see him. And granted, we were running the ball. But, I mean, come on, man. He could have had 100 yards. And the other wide receivers don't even. Bro, don't even get me started on Nelson Aguilar. Really, dude? Like, can we please just bench him and p- put tracks on the field? I just, I can't with this dude. I can't. I can't anymore. I've defended him. I've cheered for him. I have held on as long as I possibly can. And I am so very optimistic about my team and the players that are on it. So if I am holding on to you, 
and you just let me down like that, that means you deserve to get cut. You deserve it. They need to trade him the day after our season, and hopefully we get into the playoffs. But if we don't, he need to be gone the next day. Out. Trade his ass. Trade it. Fourth round pick, fifth round pick. I don't care what we can get for him. Get Aguilar out of there. He ain't catching. He, oh, I mean, I know it was behind him, but you are a first round pick. You got to catch that. There's no excuses. You have to catch that ball. Jordan Matthews, how do you drop that? I mean, I saw the slow-mo. You looked it in. You had it in your hands. You followed it through, and you dropped it. I like clear as day. It's like, oh, I got it. Nope. I don't want it. Never mind, guys. I didn't want to get this first down for us anyway. Like, we just can't win easily. Oh, and those penalties? Refs, what are you seeing? Do we need to get you guys some bifocals? Is that what it is? It maybe you got it maybe it was the sun in your eyes or that grass in your eyes. Maybe you gotta maybe, maybe, just maybe you guys need some LASIK surgery. Something because I don't understand how Sproles is only five six. So it's so it's clear to see with somebody who is six two leaning on the back of him, holding him, and, and interfering with him catching the ball. It was so clear as day. You didn't call that one. Okay. But Jordan Matthews, I mean, did you not see that? It, it looked violent. It didn't cause you to do like, oh, let me do that double take. Hold up. Did he just, damn. He just got, yeah, that happened. Bro had a, a bloody lip. And he had to change out his face mask. But y'all didn't call that. But I bet you called that defensive pass interference on Julio Jones that next drive. Oh, oh. And then, then you wanted to call... Uh, what was it? Unnecessary roughness. You called something for a 15-yard penalty. And you gave us some yards back. But I was like, oh. That was just that makeup call because, you know, you blew that last drive. And we still won the game. I swear these refs are against us. Like, I know Eagles do some dumb shit. Like, we had a lot of uh, false start penalties. Zach Ertz had, like, three. I don't, he's super excited. Like, calm down, bro. Calm down. But it's like the refs do not want the Philadelphia fans to be happy. They don't want the Eagles to win games. It's like they want us to have to earn every single yard. Everything. Like, we can, we, you can't just give us the call because it's there. You gotta make us earn the call. No, 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 no. You gotta bleed for that call. That's what's gonna happen. Y'all gonna bleed for that call. Like, come on, man. Goodell, what are you doing? Find these refs. You want to find the players. You want to find the coaches. Find the organizations. Find GMs and co- find the refs. Find them. You're paying them a good sum. I see them big ass books they got to read just to play the game and watch it and make the calls. Find them. I mean, it, what are you? What are you stingy with your money? Is that what it is? You, you want to miss a $1 million less because you don't want to find the refs. So maybe the games will go better and you get some better ratings if the refs weren't fucking everything up. How can we get a new commissioner? We need to get him out of there. Let, look, we need to figure something out, America. I'm tired of this. I can't. I can't do it with these refs. I can't do it with Goodell. We need to get him out of there. But anyway, great game, Eagles. Falcons, you guys. You just didn't show up completely this week. Julio Jones, he did for the most part. He had some crucial drops but um, good game. Sorry, womp womp. You lose. Enjoy your bye week. Don't be trolling my videos. Shut up. No comments. On to Seattle. I'm probably already going to have their fans commenting and whatever. It's okay. We'll see you guys next week. Um, Yeah. Go Eagles! Bird gang, bitch. <laughs>